Science and research go hand in hand. For years, the two have been accompanying each other in terms of what we discover around the world. Science has brought out so many answers to mysteries from all different parts of the world. One of the first that has been found in the state of Florida of that length. From the coldest places like Antarctica to the hottest places like the Sahara Desert. Everyday research brings us something new to talk about, and it's through that research that sometimes we come across something completely terrifying. But for this list, we're not going to go to Antarctica, and we're not going to go to the Sahara Desert. No, we're going to travel to a place that's somewhat in between. Some call it humid, while others wouldn't dare to go there without a guide. And years of preparation. We're talking about the forest. Today, we're going to tell you about the 20 most terrifying things recently discovered in the forest. You might think twice about traveling there. Lord Human Giant's Footprint When you walk through the forest, sometimes you'll expect different things depending on what part of the forest you're in. If you're not too deep inside of it, you'll probably expect some sort of human footprint. Some remnants to show that human life had been there. If you're deep in the forest, you might expect to see animals that you've probably not encountered before. You will also expect some rainy conditions and humidity. Sometimes the forest can feel like a place of stereotypes that come true. Other times you come across something completely unexplainable. For example, if you saw this giant footprint, you would probably think that monsters were around. Well, it's not quite monsters, it's a mystery. Actually, as to what left this giant footprint. This is a footprint of biblical proportions, literally, because a lot of people are alluding to the fact that the Bible talks a lot about giants walking the earth. And that's what people are comparing this footprint to. It can be found in South Atta, Indonesia, and geologists aren't convinced that this was a naturally made pattern in the rock. At the same time, people are debating whether or not this belongs to a creature. From the looks of it, it would have to be a massive creature to make this footprint and the area is ripe with folklore. We're not sure what to make of this giant footprint. We would love for it to belong to some sort of mythical creature that walks the earth, but we're not too sure. We've just scratched the surface in terms of terrifying discoveries that have occurred in the forest. This time, scientists just announced a terrifying discovery in this one forest, and you won't believe what it is. Take a look at this photo and tell us you're not afraid. It almost looks like a T-Rex head. But of course, T-Rexes have not roamed this earth for millions of years. So just exactly what is this monster? Scientists and people all over the internet are still trying to find this one out. Testing an old fossil like this can take a very long time to get an accurate result. And even then, there's still the debate. So let's not wait to debate and let us know in the comments what you think this fossil belongs to with the hashtag open discussion to let your voice be heard. Stone Ball Not everything you see is terrifying because it looks like a monster footprint that belongs to a giant. Sometimes it can be the subtlest of things that can spook you into believing an entirely different world exists within our own. It's the unexplainable that always gets us. And this next one on our list is unexplainable. Because no one can quite decipher what's going on with this stone ball. There are actually plenty of them, and these stone spheres have the internet ablaze. It's a mystery for the ages, and we don't even know if they'll figure the mystery out. Let's take a look. Little is known about these perfectly chiseled spheres in Costa Rica, but there's a little bit that is known. And one of the top details is that the people who chiseled them happen to belong to a very distinct culture known as the Chibchan. They date back to the 19th century. Those are some pretty old spheres. Now the interesting part about these spheres is the fact that not all of them are the same size. There are around 300 of them, and they all vary in how big they are. But the largest one weighs around 16 tons, and it measures around 8 feet in diameter. This means that it probably took a lot of ingenuity to get these balls created. Again, this whole thing resembles Stonehenge and just how much mystery there is surrounding it. We'll be lucky if we ever get any answers. Boiling River so far on this list, we still haven't even scratched the surface. We've covered some things that definitely feel like they belong in a horror movie, and they'll make you think twice about traveling to the forest. But now we go even deeper. This one kind of sounds like it belongs in the Bible under the omen section. Because if there's one thing that you don't want to come across in a forest, it's a river. 
But not just any river, a river that's actually boiling. Yeah, it doesn't even sound like something that should exist. But unfortunately for us, it does. So without further ado, let's see what this boiling river is all about. It's called the Chanay Tempishka, but also goes by the name of La Bomba. But no matter what the nickname is, it is extraordinary. It happens to be a tributary of the Amazon River, and is coined as the only boiling river in the world. Now the locals believe that this river boils because of a giant serpent spirit, which is known as the Mother of the Waters. But of course, there is a scientific explanation. One scientist investigated the source of the heat and he learned that the river maintains its high temperatures because the river happens to be closest to the Earth's mantle. This is when the underground water tends to be higher in temperature than the surface water. Whatever the explanation, that's still one hot body of water. Lost World of the Maya Throughout our list, we've covered a lot of historical periods, and in those historical times, there have been ancient civilizations that people learn about to this very day. Some are more popular than others. For example, you've probably heard about the Roman Empire, or you've probably heard about some Japanese dynasties. But the one that most people talk about happens to be the Maya civilization. They've left such an impact on our culture that we still use a lot of what they left behind today. For example, you can look at the Mayan calendar and be amazed at just how in-depth it is. Well, now we move on to the lost world of the Maya. To be more specific, it's called the Mundo Perdido. And it's also one of the largest ceremonial complexes dating all the way back to the pre-classic era. During this era, this place had become a booming city. It was almost like the Manhattan of its time. The largest plaza had been centered upon the lost world pyramid. The whole place had undergone around six phases of construction. Four of these pieces date back to the pre-classic and two to the classic era. Each of the construction phases produced a new version, but today, not much is left. As you can expect, time was not friendly to this lost city, but it's still pretty amazing to see how old civilizations used to live. There's still plenty of it that's intact. For example, one of the pyramids is easily distinguishable. It makes you wonder if our cities today will one day just be ruins. Mies Trees Crooked Trees By now you should definitely believe us when we tell you that the forests of the world have a lot to offer. You never quite know what you're going to get. When you go through a forest in the world, there are oddities that you couldn't even write for a fiction book. Well, maybe someone would have the imagination to drum up this next one. Because it's a crooked tree that's got a lot of people on the internet talking. But not only that, researchers are talking about it as well. Let's just say it's not your everyday tree. It sits in the small town of Grafino, Poland. They say that it's one of the world's biggest mysteries because this forest has around 400 pine trees that are kind of curved. It's almost like looking at a painting on its side. Some of them even form a C. Now the trees all grow to normal heights at around 50 feet. It's just the way they grow that sparks a huge mystery. One look at them and they look like they're out of a Dr. Seuss book. One of the main theories is that there might be some sort of gravitational force in the area that made these trees curve toward the north instead of straight up. But that wouldn't explain why everything else around it grows normally. So the mystery will continue until scientists are smart enough to figure this out. We kind of don't want to know, because who doesn't love a little magic in the world, even if the magic is some crooked trees? Sinkholes in China China is known for many things. It's a huge country that plays a part in much of the world. There's so much to explore, whether it's the culture, the food, the entertainment, or whatever else you're looking to discover. China is no stranger to forests as well. There are some pretty old ones in China, ones that date back hundreds of years. Needless to say, there's a lot of history in this country. But history keeps getting made and it's not just the past that people are talking about. There are actually some pretty big sinkholes in China that occur in some of its forests. Let's take a look, and believe us, you're going to look at sinkholes completely differently when this comes to your neighborhood. These sinkholes can reach around 630 feet. And now this type of sinkhole is caused by the dissolution of bedrock. What happens is that sometimes slightly acidic rainwater that's mixed with carbon dioxide meets the soil, and then overflows into the bedrock cracks and eventually turns these cracks into tunnels and chasms. What happens next is what you see in terms of a sinkhole. It's a collapse like nothing else. Now there are plenty of people who go down there to figure out what's going on, and that's how this discovery was made. The sinkholes aren't just random occurrences. 
There's science behind it, but that doesn't mean that science isn't any less scary. Machu Picchu we use the word terrifying in this list because it's very subjective. One person may find elevators terrifying because they are claustrophobic. Other people may find spiders terrifying. It's a word that everyone's felt from time to time. And it makes this list anything but objective. But then again, when it comes to this next one, you may agree that it's terrifying in more than one way. And it seems like anyone that sees this next one on our list can agree that it's not for the faint of heart. We're talking about Machu Picchu. No, it's not the monsters from a horror movie like Freddy Krueger, but it's scary for all different reasons. You'll understand what we're saying once you see it. Despite being a catchy thing to say, Machu Picchu is actually a 15th century Inca citadel. It is located in the eastern cordillera of southern Peru, and impressively enough, it sits on the top of a 2400 meter mountain range. This incredible structure is believed to be constructed as an estate for the emperor Pachucuti. Another nickname for this area is the Lost City of the Incas. There's a whole lot of history that sits amongst Machu Picchu, but unfortunately it was abandoned around 1550. To see this place up close and personal, it's a marvelous sight that reminds us that the world is filled with history that still has a lot of mystery to it. But no matter how much we still have to learn about this place, it's still pretty fun to say. Machu Picchu, Lost City of Monkey God. When we do these lists, we love things that feel like they belong in a comic book or a science fiction movie. We love sentences that feel like they belong as headlines for the movie theaters, because it just makes the mysteries a lot more mysterious and fun. And with a list that contains a lot of different terrifying aspects of forests, we can't leave out the one that's known as the Lost City of the Monkey God. No, it's not an Indiana Jones movie, but we didn't quite know what we were getting into when we started looking into this one. But once we started to really do a deep dive, there was no more monkeying around, pun intended. As you can see in this rainforest, there are relics representing an old city. The researchers who went to this area found 52 statues poking up from the ground. And of course, most of these statues resemble monkeys. The researchers who were looking for this lost city stumbled upon a gold mine of sorts. All they were looking for was the monkey god, and they found it. So how did these people even start looking for this place and why? Well, it was inspired by some rumors throughout history that the city once existed. There is debate on the authenticity of what they found, but from the looks of it, those are some monkey statues. Whether they belong to a monkey god or not, we're not too sure. It's still a really cool find. Giant Amazon Water Lily People tend to have this misconception that when you walk in the forest, the worst thing that can come across you is some sort of dangerous animal. You might even be afraid of the weather or an uncontacted tribe. But what if we told you those were the least of your concerns, because you have to worry about the flowers all around you. Maybe not so much the flowers, but the plants. Plants can be just as deadly and dangerous as animals in the forest. And then there are plants that are just unique in and of themselves. That's why today we want to shine the spotlight on the giant Amazon water lily. You can find some of these at the Karanambu Ranch where these lily pads look like they're almost swollen in size. They're gigantic and definitely far bigger than any that the Kermit the Frog would need. The way that they all grow symmetrically, it's almost eerie in sight. When you look at them, you don't typically think that you're in this world. You think that you might be in some fantasy world. Now, to do a deep dive on these, they can grow up to 8 feet across. When you smell them, they kind of smell like pineapple. It goes to show you that looking at them in a video does not do them justice in terms of their size or scent. It takes around 3 days for them to bloom completely, but once they're finished, it's definitely worth a look. You're not going to find any plants like these in your neighborhood. Not that we would really want to stumble upon something like this. Glass Frog just like the ocean, a forest can be a place where you never quite know what you're going to bump into next. We've proven that if you aren't falling into a sinkhole, then you might be bumping into the lost city of the monkey god. It not only makes you question reality and what's possible in this world, but it also makes you question just what you think is normal. It's like when you think of a frog, you probably think of just that green little critter. You definitely probably don't think of it as a glass frog. Well, guess what? We have just that for you. Now the truth about these frogs is the fact that they're not actually made of glass, but they definitely look like they are. 
This is because they can take on a kind of translucent appearance when it comes to their bellies and chest. So this gives them a see-through like look, like almost as if you could wipe them down with Windex. They can do this because it's part of their camouflage ability. You can find these frogs usually in tropical lowland forests. Most of them are small. They can grow to around 30 millimeters, which translates to about 1.2 inches. Those are some small species, but they do pack a pretty cool ability. If only we could change into glass. We don't know what we would use that ability for, though. Minister's Treehouse You may still not be able to predict everything that's out there in the forest of the world, but we now know that there are secrets and discoveries coming out all of the time. As mysteries of the forest may go, there's still plenty that you can predict. For example, you can predict that a forest may have a human weather. You can also predict that there are plenty of animals in the forest, but the number one thing that you can expect is that there are trees. And of course, you can dream about sorts of different things with your imagination, like tree houses. But you probably wouldn't expect a tree house to be in the middle of a forest. Well, you'd be wrong, because now we move on to a minister's tree house. The story goes that in the early 1990s, there was a landscaper named Horace Burgess. He had bought some wooded land right near Crossville, Tennessee. It was one of the bigger trees in his property right next to a dirt road that stood out to him. And this is when he decided to build the world's largest tree house in its branches. Now, this wasn't a crazy man. He had a job and a family. Unfortunately, he spent a couple of years working on this tree house, but then ran out of lumber and passion, later becoming a minister. Even though he had given up on dedicating his life to God, it was still a huge project. It didn't just spread across one tree, but it spread across seven and was about 100 feet into the sky. Now that's a big tree house. We wish that he had finished it, but hey, if you're not passionate about something, why continue? The Middlebury Little People Throughout history, there have been smaller people, and we're talking about the people that would be considered dwarves. They go by many different names. Some of those names are derogatory, while others are accepted depending on where you go. At the end of the day, these people aren't munchkins in The Wizard of Oz, and they aren't the subject of reality TV shows like Little People Big World. They're just people like you and me. They may be popularized in culture through different stories, but there's no need to make them feel strange about that. Now, when it comes to the Middlebury Little People, that's a different story. Let's put it this way. They're not your typical breed of little people. This village was discovered as a place for little people only. It's located in the woods of Middlebury. Right now, it's just a crumbling complex of doll-sized houses. It's one of those stories that change depending on who you talk to. One of the stories involves a witch. Other stories involve pixie people and not little humans. We don't quite know what the true story is, but you can't deny that the remnants left behind are pretty darn creepy. It looks like a place that would come to life after casting a spell. Maybe one day someone will get the real story straight, and hopefully it doesn't bring back anyone from the dead. The Java Chicken Church Now, of course our list wouldn't be complete without one that makes you scratch your head just a little bit. We don't just love mysteries and discovering things, we also love things that seem a little quirky. Because, after all, the world isn't a one-size-fits-all experience. To get the full scope of everything, you need to explore a whole lot. And that means opening your mind to things that seem a little crazy. For example, this Java Chicken Church. We bet you never thought you'd be hearing a sentence like that one, but it's true. It's the Chicken Church of Java located in Indonesia. We don't know whether we're hungry or intrigued by this one. It was one man's vision of a temple for all faiths. But one look at it, you kind of get an eerie vibe. The main thing you'll spot first is this chicken. It's supposed to be a dove, but it looks more like a chicken. It was built by a man named Daniel Almza. He was a devout Christian living in Java, Indonesia. And one night in 1988, he had a divine vision. He imagined a shape much like a giant dove. It was resting on a hilltop. This led him to build one. And thus, this weird chicken temple was born. We probably shouldn't call it weird as the man really did want to create a place for everyone to worship. We don't know how many people ever went to this chicken church, but we do admire the man's ingenuity. No one's ever made chicken that holy before. Siberia's Gate to Hell We don't necessarily like going over the sinister areas of forests that are located around the world. Nobody likes to see a forest in a scary way. But this list is all about the terrifying things that lay between the trees. So, we can't skimp on the details and we can't avoid the scariest parts of the world. Instead, we have to take a look at Siberia's gateway to hell. 
If the name doesn't scare you, then seeing it most definitely will. It's not the type of gate that you want to venture through. But we guess there's no harm in taking a look at it anyway. We can put good money on the fact that this one is going to give us nightmares. And it all comes from Russia where an enormous sinkhole opened up almost out of nowhere. People describe it as a gate to hell. And it was even close to one of Russia's most popular ski resorts. They weren't lying when they said that it was enormous, because it was 100 feet wide. Luckily, no one was hurt and no one died. Somehow, it was evacuated beforehand by local authorities. They were worried that the ground was too unstable, but the footage is definitely amazing and could have been a close one. Canock Chase Dolls there's a reason why horror movies always use certain props. For example, in the Chucky movies, they used a red-headed doll as the main antagonist of the story. And this is because it is downright creepy. There's just something about dolls and pop culture that don't mesh correctly. Unless a child is playing with a doll, they can just come off as creepy. And the Canock Chase dolls are no exception. When you see them, you might think you stumbled upon some sort of witch's home. But unfortunately for all of us, there's a little bit more to it than that. Let's do a deep dive. To sum things up here, there were several creepy dolls found nailed to trees in the forest. It was a woman who had discovered this and needless to say, she was terrified. The woman was 64 and had been a theater practitioner and had been on the lockdown stroll when she had made the discovery. If you look at the footage, there is nothing pleasant about this site. It does look like it's straight out of a horror movie. None of the dolls are in good condition and some of them are even naked. So where did this creepiness come from? The site was home to the Brindley Health Military Hospital during the First World War. And somehow and some way, dolls had accumulated over time. That's pretty much all that anyone knows about the, how these dolls got there. Needless to say, it spooks out a lot of people. And we're one of them. But hey, if you have the courage to go check out these dolls, be our guest. Hopefully you'll survive the quest to one day tell us the tale, and you won't see Chucky lurking around. Nagoro Village we may have already spoken about a few dolls on this list, but we're not done yet. This time we will send our attention to a village in Japan. And this village is not like many of the villages you may have heard of or visited. It's called Nagoro Village. And it's got a lot of qualities to get people talking. They're not qualities that you would expect either. We move on from the little area filled with dolls hanging from trees to an even more mysterious and creepy place. It's a mysterious village with more scarecrow residents than it has real people. It's called Nagoro Village. And when you look at it for the first time, you might not see anything ominous about it. But then you notice all the scarecrows. And no, they're not like the scarecrows from The Wizard of Oz. The crazy part about all these scarecrows is the fact that they outnumber humans 10 to 1. To get any exact numbers is difficult, but it's estimated that there are more than 200 scarecrows that inhabit the town. And the humans love them. They're almost revered like neighbors. But this gets even crazier because all these scarecrows were created by a longtime resident, Anyo Tsukimi. The reason why she created all these is actually a pretty cute one. She got tired of seeing villagers leave over the years, so she created her own community. Maybe it's a little sad, but we like that she took it upon herself to create her own friends. Amazon Rings in the past, we've covered places like Stonehenge, the pyramids, and many other locations that have left a big footprint on humanity. It's still mind-boggling to think that those locations have transcended time and are still spoken about today, especially given the fact that back in the day, there was no internet to get the word to travel. But now that we have the internet, we can look at things like the Amazon rings. These are mysterious human-made ditches that predate the Amazon rainforest. Now that's a long time. There's just something about these areas in the world that endure despite centuries of weather, climate change, and so many other factors that make them fascinating pieces to learn about. It's a series of ditches that are placed all over this Bolivian and Brazilian Amazon forest. There was once a rainforest, but now there are just these mysterious holes. They're square, straight, and ring-like. They're definitely human-made. That's not a mystery. But the reason for them is still unknown. Some believe they were used for defense. Others believe that they were built for drainage. Some researchers believe that whoever dug these holes created them before the forest had moved in around them. It could be the first modern forest as a co-production between humans and nature. Right now, the jury is still out, but we'll say this, never before had holes been so interesting. Pony Hinge Like we said before, we talk about Stonehenge a lot, and it's because it kind of epitomizes everything that we like here at the channel. We like a little mystery, and we also like things that everyone is curious about. 
It makes us believe that aliens exist or that magic can actually happen in the world. How can you not wonder about why Stonehenge exists and how it got there in the first place? There's just so many unanswered questions. But what if we told you that wasn't the only type of henge that exists in the world? And what if we also told you there's one that's far stranger than Stonehenge? Don't call us crazy, but we're about to tell you about Ponyhenge. You heard that right, some call it mysterious while others call it creepy. But the truth is it's a graveyard for rocking horses in Massachusetts. Lincoln, Massachusetts to be exact. It's not that old, but no one quite knows what's going on here because toy horses started to appear in this small New England town back in 2010. It started out with just one. The one had been discarded in the field, and then the numbers just started to grow. Soon there were dozens of ponies in the space. Now it's being coined as an art installation created by the public. So technically it's like one big art project that doesn't have just one creator. It may be private property, but visitors are still welcome to come by as long as they act respectfully. After all, who would mess with some ponies? Some really creepy ponies though. The Chattooga Canoe. Now we move on to some wholesome content. We don't always need to talk about creepy dolls and unexplainable ponies. Sometimes we can talk about a canoe. Now you may be wondering just what would be terrifying or weird about a canoe. But you shouldn't be surprised when it comes to us. Because nothing we talk about is ever normal. Canoes are no exception. Today we bring to you the Chattooga Canoe. It's not like any canoe that you've ever seen before. The significance of this canoe that we're talking about is all about its age. At first glance you would think that it was just a downed tree. But this canoe could be about 200 to 250 years old. And it was the second one of its kind discovered in Chattooga. It's been carbon dated to belong to Native Americans in the 1700s. So next time you see a canoe just lying around, understand that it may be part of history. The Blickling Pyramid. We promise that we're done talking about Stonehenge, for now. But we still do like talking about the pyramids, because they're right up there in terms of mystery. Even though we think we know all there is to know about the pyramids, the Egyptian pyramids still have so many unanswered questions that it's just fun to think about. We love it when history throws us a puzzle. But guess what? The Egyptian pyramids aren't the only ones that have a little mystery to them. There's also the Blickling Pyramid. Let's take a look at what this one's all about. Going inside this place, this 18th century mausoleum is kind of creepy. Just with how things have disintegrated, you can't help but get an eerie vibe. The backstory to this mausoleum isn't too creepy though. It holds the remains of John Hobart. He was the second Earl of Buckinghamshire. That kind of explains why there's a creepy vibe on the inside, given the fact that there is a body in there somewhere. But you can't help but marvel at the history that has taken place here. It makes you wonder just what today's mausoleums will look like centuries from now. It's also a reminder that no matter what we marvel at today, we're always going to meet that one destination like John. If only we could all afford a fancy mausoleum like that one though. And there you have it. We're pretty sure that you'll never look at a forest the same again. But we do hope that you look at it through the lens of a place that contains a lot of mystery and cool stuff. We're sure that there'll be plenty of terrifying discoveries that'll come our way in the future. And when they do, we will be right here to bring them to you all.